Hey there, Cancer. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of August 28th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what's going on for you at this time. I also pulled a card from Mildred's Pocket Oracle by uh, Deviant Moon, uh, the same Deviant Moon company that makes Deviant Moon Tarot. So we'll see what else we get with that. But you start off with the Queen of Diamonds, a very good card for you, um, opening up to new ways of making money. I do feel like you have a choice to make this week. Uh, it's interesting. You have two tens, two sevens. Uh, so I think that in some ways it's like, you, you have to face some sort of fear of making a choice as far as finances are concerned. Uh, maybe even a new way of making money, maybe starting a business or something like that. Queen of Diamonds is sometimes called the crossroads. Just represents needing to uh, make a choice. And usually the right choice is something new. Again, something different, maybe even something you're afraid of. Because, you know, again, that's going to lead you to more success. Just facing your fears and things like that. Uh, let's see. It's... Also, I mean, it is a card of discovering new possibilities. I wouldn't normally say that, but again, you have the uh, Ten of Clubs next, which can also be a card of kind of discovering new things, figuring new things out, or, uh, you know, coming up with a totally new plan. It might actually be an old plan, but just kind of updated and different. And uh, so it's a great card for doing those things. Ten of Clubs is a card of just plowing forward toward success, making, uh, you know, making success, becoming very successful, and uh, needing to kind of figure out ways to become more successful. It's a card of learning. So it's a card of learning how to increase your success very quickly. Uh, definitely a card of momentum. <clears throat> uh, you have the Seven of Clubs as well. Both of these cards together, I'd say, represent mo momentum and kind of building momentum towards success. It does say if you are successful in business or if you are successful in love even, it says don't stop, keep going, uh, because you want to keep that momentum going. You don't want to kind of get lazy and, and stop and make the success basically stop. It can also be a card of protecting an idea you have, not sharing it with too many people. And even your oracle card here is a card called the wall, and it's a card of protecting an idea or some plan that you have. Next, you have the seven of clubs, uh, kind of slowly making progress. I would actually say your slow progress is quick quick progress this week with that ten of clubs uh, so making faster progress towards some sort of goal that you would like to accomplish but this is a card of uh, breaking things down into pieces i think all water signs uh, are very similar like i've been saying for weeks now uh, at this time and all water signs need to be kind of looking at their big dreams breaking them down into tiny little pieces and just kind of taking the little, kind of slow little steps every single day because again those slow little steps every day will turn into big steps and uh, a lot of success much faster than if you were just to, you know, trying to attack the big problem or you're just trying to kind of get that big goal. Uh, so I think tiny little steps, again, just slowly, you know, chipping away at whatever it is that you want is what you should be doing with that card. Next, you have the Ten of Hearts, Fortune After Difficulty. Love this card. Very good for, uh, again, success after a difficult period of time. A great card for also friends, uh, meeting up with friends and having a lot of friends kind of coming to you at this time. It's a card of loyalty, people being loyal to you, wanting to help you out, and it's an amazing card for dating at this time, going out, dating, meeting as many people as you can, you know, going to all the social events that you possibly can. Uh, it's a great time for that. You have two tents, so, you know, there's like a lot of opportunities for you to meet people, for you to meet new people, and uh, to find love even. Next, you have the seven of spades, needing to let go of fears. <clears throat> it just represents uh, internal fears that do not exist. So make sure to, you know, let go of your fears at this time. It can also represent messages coming to you. So pay attention to all messages. And finally, like I said, you have the wall here with the Oracle card. And the wall, again, is about protecting some sort of idea that you have or protecting even yourself from things at this time. And making sure that, you know, people can't figure out maybe an idea you have or a plan that you have or a goal that you have or, you know, somebody that you want to date. Um, it might be, you know, I think that it is kind of a sensitive time for some people, especially with the astrology. So, you know, maybe you share an idea, somebody says something to you and it really turns you off to the idea and then you don't do it. So again, I think it's a time to maybe keep your mostly ideas and plans to yourself for right now. Uh, just so again, just so you're not like turned off uh, to the idea and then you don't do it. But other than that, looks like an awesome week. Two tens, can't beat that. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.